it's Japanese knotweed season. I thought we'd have a little hunt around today. So for those of you who aren't familiar with Japanese knotweed, and those of you that are, it'll tend to like stuff like this. So on the edge of a canal, that's Japanese knotweed. It's grown along the canal, it follows a watercourse. It used to be planted uh, on banks of canals and railway, uh, railway tracks, anywhere where there was a bit of landslip to try and secure the secure the land so you can see the canal there just on the uh, outskirts of, uh, of Ponta Dawi um, and you can see a little little crop of knotweed just just behind the gate so yeah so these look plant it but it's quite invasive and it causes problems because uh, the mortgage companies just don't like it so um, so yeah a lot of people get caught because they buy properties thinking they're cheap find Japanese knotweed and then all of a sudden there's a uh, there's an issue because they can't get a mortgage on the property or it's difficult to get a mortgage and you know people selling properties often don't realize that they've got an infestation so you've got to have your wits about you when you're out there looking for knotweed now we saw it over by the um we saw it over by over by the the canal but um i'm just looking in this car park here you wouldn't think there's any japanese knotweed anywhere but you just got to go hunting for it because oh there's some and I'm pretty sure I saw some over here as well. But don't ask me how it's got from the canal to here, but it has. And then, as we go round the build, round the place, we can uh, you see there's not really much of a sign of it in this car park. You, you wouldn't immediately think that there's not weed. But if you're an unfortunate person who owns a bit of a bit of property in this area, like I am, <laughs> you'll find that it takes hold. Oh, there's some. There's some Japanese knotweed. <laughs> um, it's not the end of the world, Japanese knotweed. You can deal with it. It's um, it's just really frustrating and irritating as, as an invasive plant. Uh, getting rid of the Japanese knotweed um, is a relatively easy process, but if you are looking to, to finance property, it can be extremely difficult. So you need to have a mortgage broker that understands which um, which mortgage products will accept Japanese knotweed and you need someone who can treat the knotweed. Um, it can be eradicated, it's not difficult to eradicate. It will need some management and insurance but it can be dealt with. Um, you can get really good deals with properties with Japanese knotweed. So if you've got an infestation like the one we just saw in a property that I own, um, that's not mortgageable. Um, uh, so I would need to eradicate the Japanese knotweed from, the, uh, from, from within the property. Uh, if it's on the boundaries of the property, so it's outside of the, the, the boundary of the property, but near the boundary, you can generally get mortgage products. And if it's in the area, you can get mortgage products as well. So understanding which, which mortgage products and which lenders will allow you to uh, buy a property with Japanese knotweed is really important. But also, don't be frightened of it, because you can buy a property with Japanese knotweed, deal with it, put a knotweed safety plan in place, get, get an insurance-backed guarantee, uh, and deal with it. And then, you know, you, you can save tens of thousands of pounds. It's not that scary a plant. Um, you know, i am much more worried about a tree growing next to my house. It would cause more damage, provided you keep on top of it. So just bear in mind that it is possible for you to, to buy properties uh, with Japanese knotweed uh, knowingly, but also probably more important than anything else, unknowingly as well. So if you see the, if you see the plant, and again, I'll just go and do another little close-up of some knotweed for you. If you see it, be aware of it and manage it. And uh, also, if you're negotiating on properties and on prices on properties, if you see it, you should really understand straight away that there's an opportunity for you to negotiate on the price. Um, and again, I have bought several properties that have Japanese knotweed. There's a better, better crop of it there. So you can see that's what we're looking out for. It's absolutely rife this time of year and it grows if what feels like about, about about a foot a week, it really grows fast this time of year. So you will see it out and about. And if you do see it, just bear in mind, if you are sourcing properties, you can use it uh, to negotiate. And if you are buying a property, uh, just be aware that if it's in the area, so if it's over in a canal nearby, if it's in a railway embankment, a, a cut in some, 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 some banks, anything, anything really where there's water or there's, there's, there's uh, some steep land, you may see it. Um, and if you do see it, be aware of it because it will affect the mortgageability of property, but it also gives you something to negotiate with.